people want it. Show the messages. Release the messages. Show the messages. <laughs> what are we in second grade? No, Mr. Chess, we are not in second grade. We are just curious to know what actually happened in this text messages because at the beginning you admitted that you you know you were having conversation with a minor that led into inappropriate conversations and then later on two weeks three weeks later you deleted that tweet and now you're coming out and saying you do not know the full story because that person the receiver that we don't know, still don't know the age the person doc had a conversation with was legal in her state or country whatever she was so i believe it is very fair for people to ask you to show you the messages and we're gonna get to this point later on for now mr beast go face the corner go stand in the corner and face the wall because it is not about you mr beast is chilling right now he's breathing for a little bit because doc the two time has taken the spotlight now before we talk about the key points of uh, dr the suspects respond to the whole controversy let me give you a quick recap by now i don't need to tell you what exactly happened we all read the tweet or had around like 100 million something views but it is deleted now so don't bother looking for it it is still in videos and you can still find it on the internet but it is not on his page anymore what is on his page a picture posted of him playing chess and the other person which is everyone else was talking shit about him or playing checkers and he's claiming that he's playing the long game two weeks later talks about his vacation and just yesterday he posted a video of him in a jet boat going to an arena giving people a quick teaser of him returning back like he said in his tweet that he deleted that you cannot take the two time down I am coming back after my vacation and by the time I'm recording this video he's still live streaming but just the first 22 minutes of his stream that is the time where he addressed all the controversy sharing with everyone the full story and during the whole stream he's just playing video games right now at the beginning of the video doc mentioned cody connor by name the guy who made that tweet saying that doc did spicy conversations back in 2017 that is the reason why he got banned from twitch in 2020 cody connor's ex twitch employee wasn't even involved leaks Twitch's reported reason. Years later, Cody, why, why you, why do this? What was the point? This was settled professionally, and you, knowing how black and white the internet is, you decided you fucking rat to leak the reported reason. Twitch banned me in 2020. I mean, for what, Cody? Why did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two time? Did you not know the repercussions of accusing me, Cody Connors? You don't know shit, and it was obvious from your tweet. You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was f***ing a minor through whispers messages? <laughs> do you even know what the legal definition of f***ing is? I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's whispers, but trust me, I wasn't f***ing anyone. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, edited, etc., just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? And neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. Now, there's a lot to talk about this situation. First, he's saying that, did any of you knew that that person that I was speaking to was at the age of consent in their country? Now, what I'm about to share with you is strictly my personal opinion about this. When I read Dr. Disrespect's tweet, the second tweet where he just snitched on himself about this whole thing, he tried to make himself look good as much as he could. Again, this is just my opinion. If that person was actually the League of Age in their country, 110% I will bet Megatron, which is my cat, that he would have mentioned that. Sure, he would. some of you would say that, you know, he did this so people will fall for the trap like these news articles and he edited it just for purpose so they'll fall for it and then he can sue them for defamation for money. First of all, it doesn't make sense because 
his reputation, his career, his image is just damaged heart. He was doing this to sue people for defamation to get money out of them. Doesn't make sense. He took a big fat juicy shit on his whole image and he's trying to wipe it with dollar bills. It doesn't wipe off. And at the end of this video, where which we're going to get to that, he also said that the fact that he will just try to move on with his career try to do what he does best, put on the show and continue posting videos. If anyone attacks him more, he has more receipts. He has more things to talk about, but he doesn't want to do anything about it. Maybe in this situation, he does sue people behind closed doors, but he doesn't share it with us. Second thing he mentioned that he did this on purpose on news articles will fall for it. Well, why did you delete the tweet that you said in the first place? Again, I'm going to share my personal opinion on this is the fact that in the past six months, a lot of people have been exposed and Doc has been the only person who addressed the whole thing. And he's the only one who sank Cody Cole. Everyone's getting away with it. No one's getting shit for it. Even Mr. Beast is getting away, to, away with it at the moment. And the way I see it, again, this is just my opinion. This is no facts at all. I'm speaking out of my ass, but my ass is very uh, too much wisdom. Is he so that a lot of people are not getting shit by not responding. So he decided to turn this whole thing around. He's not playing chess. He just sat down for two months with his PR team and HR and lawyers and decided to what is the best approach to recover on, you know, having a career again. And now there's other point he mentioned that the safety team on Twitch, the same people who banned them internally admitted that he, there was nothing wrong with the texting that he was having with that user, but they decided to ban him anyways. Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally admitted that the whisper messages were not And two, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute sexual CSAM. I'll say it again. Neither I nor the Twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or images. Cody Connors and these other anonymous sources are trying to paint a picture that I was exchanging sexually explicit messages and photos with this Twitch user. That never happened. I even used the word inappropriate, purposely. And look at how it was defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. I'm sorry, but mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. Another red flag I found about this statement is the fact that he used inappropriate on purpose to spice things up with drama at what expense? Ruining your whole image? Just doesn't make sense. Now, to take you back to his deleted statement, he mentioned that it was their conversations with a minor. Yes. Was there any tensions behind it? No. But sometimes it was leaning into inappropriate conversations. I don't really know what kind of inappropriate, what other ways of inappropriate conversation we can have. Like what? They sit, uh, uh, they text each other and curse at each other. Is that inappropriate? That's what you meant? He just needs to show up the chat logs, show us exactly what happened. And then we will see, we'll take it from there. That is the whole thing. But he's, the only source we have right now is trust me, bro. He goes on on his other point and he said that the reason Twitch banned them was because they wanted to pull out of a contract in 2020. Because in 2020, the, uh, what was this, Ninja and all these people from Mixer, you know, Mixer just crashed. And Ninja and all these big streamers, they wanted to come back to Twitch. And Dr. Disrespect already signed a multi-million dollar contract with them, but they obviously have a budget for paying these streamers so they wanted to get rid of dr disrespect and so they wanted to bring like someone like ninja for example and to do that they can just break the contract and be like hey doctor i'm sorry we thought it was gonna work out but you know we're, we're about to like dip okay take care bye it doesn't work like that because dr disrespect can sue them and they can lose the same amount of money with maybe even more and they're not gonna get anything out of it and this is where Doc's ex-manager comes into play. He said that his ex-manager was absolutely useless, didn't get him on the front page, didn't get him any deals. So when he signed with Twitch, he asked for a new manager. And that you know, the last manager hold a grudge against them, told them that you want to donkey me, I will donkey you, and went full on, put it his time, his energy, everything he has in him towards destroying Dr. Disrespect. That is a time where he became aware of the chat whispers that happened back in 2017. By the way, this is all Doc Squirts. And he decided to bring this Twitch user who was, you know, 
the D minor. Even though this Twitch user did not want to come forward and press charges and or be in a lawsuit in the first place. But according to Dr. Suspect, the ex-manager encouraged her to just come forward and destroy Doc's image. So after we signed with Twitch in 2019, we asked for a new partner manager. And just a few months later, that ex Twitch partner manager is directly involved with getting me banned. <laughs> Coincidence? The Twitch user tells the ex Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. I'll repeat that sentence one more time, just in case anybody missed that one. The Twitch user tells this ex Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. But this ex Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with Twitch even though the user told him clearly that we never physically met anywhere and that no photographs were exchanged. On June 24th, 2020, Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. They find no issues and determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. And Doc said after his ex-manager tried to cancel him with this whole whisper thing, the investigation was, you know, they were doing an investigation, but no wrongdoing was done. And that is the time where, according to Doc, the ex-manager's blood was boiling and he decided to, you know what? I am going to go full and out of context mode. He finds out that no further action will be taken. So what does he do? He personally escalates the report to a friend on the Twitch's LER team. The LER team, remember, that's the Twitch's law enforcement response team. He escalates the report to a friend on Twitch's LER team. So a day later, on June 25th, the LER analyst pulls the entirety of the whisper messages and begins discussing them with his director of the LER team. Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time and does not have access to their computer or work files. L let me just remind you, I went through a multi-year, multi a, a big time arbitration, okay? And uh, the LER analyst cherry picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context from the whisper messages to this director. Now, if you do this, you can make anyone's messages look inappropriate. Even when they aren't, within less than one hour, this LER analyst and his director have made the decision to suspend me from Twitch. Twitch submits a report to NCMEC. You guys all read those little articles, huh? The NCMEC. Twitch submits that report. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Guess what? As far as I know, and over four years have passed, they didn't do anything with the report. As far as I know, they didn't escalate Twitch's report to law enforcement. <laughs> Mind you, the same people that made this decision admit internally that the messages did not constitute the same people that made this decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any sexual abuse material charge. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were illegal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. It's fucking unbelievable! Now, if that is true, that Twitch did not do a full investigation before accusing Dr. Disrespect of, you know, messaging a minor, then shit just got interesting. But one thing still that doesn't make sense to me is why did it take him to, if he knew this all along, since 2020 about everything the age of consent where this twitch user you know how old she was where was she from what was the age of consent in that country why did it take two months for him to respond to all these allegations why did it let two months for people and rumors to go around for what reason no amount of money is worth your reputation and image why would you let people go through it? Why wouldn't you? Yes, he said that no wrongdoing was done in this situation because the case was settled and the case apparently is settled because if it's, it wasn't settled, he would have been in prison in 2020. He said that he didn't do anything wrong, that the person he was speaking to let him maybe into inappropriate conversations 
but nothing spicy happened between me and this person. And this person wasn't even underage where she was, you know, living. Then where are the text messages between you and this Twitch user? Because this could have easily been settled behind the curtains, even though it was illegal. Just like OJ Simpson. He did it, but he didn't do it because it was settled. We just need to see the text messages so we can tell if it's inappropriate or not. We are not second graders for asking for the text messages. It is a very normal thing to do. This excuse of uh, what, what are we, second grade for sharing the messages? Only kids are asking for text messages. My community, they understand because trust me, bro. Trust me. He goes on and he talks more about his case on the lawsuit that he was going through, saying that the judge said that the text messages were not illegal. The judge in the case determined that the whispers were not illegal. <laughs> so then why did Twitch use these messages against me? I, I Why did Twi Twitch treat the doc so differently from their other streamers? I mean, outside of the obvious. I mean, just take a look at me, <laughs> unfiltered, the realest motherfucker in this industry, six foot eight, gorgeous, athletic. Now at one point in this video, he goes on and he starts throwing other people under the bus. He's like, if I'm going down, you are coming down with me. He says that people streamers saying the N word, they're not getting banned. They were, they were talked to in a meeting on Twitch. And they decided to not to ban them, but you know, don't don't do it again. Other people having similar situations, and they were told don't do it again. They were just having meetings, but when he came to me about the whole whisper situation, without them doing their investigation on finding out if it was age of consent or not, if it was appropriate or not, some texts were taken out of context. That what made me that what made made me look bad. They didn't even set up a meeting with me. They just banned me out of nowhere. Why? Because I am the two times six foot eight. Beautiful smile, fake hair, uh, very, very nice sunglasses. Did I say six foot eight? That is a reason why they're hating on me because they hate me because they ain't me. And this is another important part of the video. I'm not saying anything more about any of this, right? Unless I need to, because trust me, I have more. I haven't disclosed. I just want to get back to what we do best. Put on a show. And climb our way to the tippity top of the mountain, man. In our own lane. Now, in my opinion, that was a pretty good response. But if he had receipts, it would have been much, much better. Besides, trust me, bro. Some of the things he said made sense. Some of the things he said didn't make sense. But end of the day, we need to see the text messages to find out. Again, in my personal opinion, I feel like he saw that co nothing happened to Cody Coffin. Him not still to this day not addressing it. Mr. Beast, nothing happened to him because he's not addressing it. And he decided to flip on his word, delete the tweet that had over a hundred million views, pretend like nothing happened, and after two months comes forward and starts gives a response video. A lot of red flags in this response. And a lot of people are saying that this is just one of them, saying that Dr. Zuspek waited until now to release information so that way he could sue multiple news outlets and Twitch for defamation. Clearly at the end of the video, Dr. Zuspek said that he just wants to stay in his lane and play video games, play with his community. He just wanted his career back. This wasn't his plan. That raised another red flag. Why did it take him two months to say what he actually wanted to say? Why was his tweet two months ago like that? Snitching on himself and saying no wrongdoing was done and then later on deleting it. A lot of red flags. End of the day, I guess we are second graders. We need to see those text messages so we can take it further. Do I think he's going to have his career back? He could have done it even without defending himself. If he should just come back, there are still going to be people defending him. Yes, his response, this response especially, made a lot of his community defend him now and be on his side because he said, trust me, bro. But if he actually comes with the text messages and not tell people that what are you a child asking for messages when i say something you know who i am dr spec 648 you should believe me either way that is another red flag where he's not showing us is means in my opinion something really not appropriate happen in that conversation again this is just my opinion this everything is alleged did i say alleged because it is alleged we just have to wait by the hour, there are new updates coming about this whole situation twitch has still hasn't responded to this whole thing 
if anything interesting happens i'll keep you updated but i am interested to know your thoughts in the comments below let me know down below like subscribe you know the rest take care of yourself i feel like i've been yapping for way too long take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one